took the train to Long Beach. Oh, that's disgusting. That was wild. <laughs> Just, bro, it's just like right now, especially with everything that made LA fun being shut down. Like, like you can't, you, do. you can't go to the gym, you can't mm-hmm. go to a movie theater, you can't go to like a comedy club, you can't yeah. like go and watch a TV show for fun. You know, yeah, like uh, once you take all those stuff out, then what is there to do? Just be a prisoner. Be a prisoner with overpriced rent. <laughs> Yeah, and those like, those poor people once they leave, you know, those places, you know, that whoever owns them, they're just gonna jack up the price even higher now that those folks are gone. But then it's but, like, who but, the fuck's but, gonna buy those houses? But still, there's people moving into LA. That's another thing because there's people leaving. Yeah, but there's people coming. That part I don't understand even more. <laughs> people coming here, but like, there's, why, cause, bro? Because <laughs> there. Because there's people that were living in like middle America or something, and they yeah. were just like, "Yo, this is the time! Like, this is the time I go to LA and I conquer it." You know? Man, I don't know if there's much to conquer. <laughs> I, I saw a family, two families, in, on the fucking boulevard with their kids. One like Hispanic family with a few of their kids, all wearing masks, and then another family like you, I could tell that they're from more middle of the country. They kind of had like a an accent going on, like 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 oh we're here in Hollywood or whatever the fuck, and they ain't wearing masks. But I couldn't help but think of both of them. I was like, why the fuck are you guys here right now? <laughs> like, there's nothing to fucking do here, like at all. Like, you're just gonna see a bunch of sad motherfucking buildings boarded up, and like a bunch of people on the streets. Like, there's Bro, nothing fun here right now. <laughs> I know, like a friend of mine with her entire family came during pandemic <laughs> to Vegas and then got a car and went from Vegas to LA and from LA to Texas. And they just did a road trip because they're like, yo, we're getting unemployment stimulus yeah. money. So let's just go on a road trip right now. That, that I'll admit that I'll give more like props to road trips, especially in like smaller areas or like just wanting to see the country while the apocalypse are coming. But like coming to like a city where like those places for sure are shut the fuck down. Like I don't get that at all. I just don't. It's like there's no point. Like I was gonna say you should fire your travel agent, but who the fuck hires a travel agent anymore? <laughs> Old people. Right? All people still do, man. Travel agents with all people, they're still got clientele, man. Yeah. I don't get it. Uh, it just it sucks because, like I like I said, I'm mostly in the house. So the few times I do leave, it's fucking wild to me how crazy it still is out there. Especially, yeah, I, especially with the homeless folk. And like I could tell that some of these people on the streets who are in their tents, you could just tell when you see someone like how long they've been out in the street, you know what I mean? And some of these people still look pretty clean. So I was like, damn, like you just barely ended up in the streets right now. Like that's fucking nuts. Yeah. I, because I'm closer to downtown. I, it's probably crazier there. Oh my God, bro. I seen some wild shit. <laughs> I seen the wildest of the wild out here. God damn. It's crazy. Cause like when I took the COVID test, I was originally going to go to a joint near MacArthur Park. I actually think it's like close to where you live, this joint. And so I was already mentally prepared. It's like, man, once I go there, it's going to be fucking crazier than usual. Because like, I, last time I was there was a year ago. So it's like, it's going to be nuts going there. But nah, I ended up going to some place in South Central because I needed to get the test for like a thing. So... But that was my first time being in South Central, so that was fun. <laughs> yeah, I I went there by just to check it. Like literally, I, I was just like, this was like a month or two ago. I was just like, I I might just drive to South Central just to see how he has changed. You know yeah. how he, 
it's been affected, bro. I had like maybe three or four times where literally my life got threatened. I was just like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was just like, I, right, I am going to leave. <laughs> right. I took the bus and thankfully the, the bus was chill. Like going like there was only one person that was fucking nuts on the bus. But like just looking outside, I was like, man, it's, it's fucking wild out there. So I, I, took our, the, yeah. I, I took the train to Long Beach. Oh, that's disgusting. That was wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy because like I I've only taken the I only taken the blue because what they named it something else now because Expo Expo Expo. No, no, they, it's a, it's another one now because they uh, the red, the purple, the gold. Yeah, the, the the colors they they I don't know if you know this, but they change them to letters now. Oh. Yeah, so now that it, now they go by letters, but the blue to to Long Beach, my my girlfriend a few years ago, she wanted to go to the aquarium near the fucking um, uh, what's that fucking the Queen Mary, right? She want to go to the aquarium near yeah, there. Yeah, that's where I went. Yeah, <laughs> but like she told me, it's like, hey, I want to go to this aquarium, and we Google Maps it, and she's like, oh, we could take the blue, right? And I told her. You know what the fucking blue is, right? It's like it's just a train. We 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 just take the train. It's like, bitch, you better be ready to take the fucking train then, because it's gonna be a goddamn trip. And she thought I was talking about how long it took, because it was like a one hour and a half ride. I'm like, it's gonna be a fucking ride. Like you're gonna, you better sit next to me and not say shit while we're on that train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the best way to do that train is literally just pop your headphones. <laughs> right, like just don't, <laughs> just don't. <laughs> yeah, it, it it gets pretty nuts. <laughs> yeah. I mean, thankfully, you no know, one fucking bothered. Oh, uh, someone did kind of bother us on the trip back, but it was just some old guy talking some weird shit, and I indulged him. Like I was, I was talking stuff with him. I don't even remember what our conversation was about. It was also a good distraction because I was like, you know, as crazy as this motherfucker is, at least I could tell that he's harmless. <laughs> so, like, we should, I just talked to that guy. But Jesus, like, the trip, too, was crazy. And he, I, I, my mind was like, okay, the earliest that we go, the less crazy hopefully it will be. So I was already in my mind, like, okay, we're going to wake the fuck up early. We're going to be one of the first people in line. And then, like, we're going to leave before rush hour, before people are getting off of work. You know, but goddamn, yeah. that was. I, I don't know about taking that train at night. <laughs> oh, absolutely not! Absolutely not, man. And even like, I heard the green it can also be kind of fucking creepy as hell too. The one that I mean, take. It, it connects with the blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I took the green once, and like, you could tell like how they only give the nice new trains to the ones that go to Santa Monica, <laughs> and the one that goes to. uh What's that fucking uh, to uh, Arcadia or something like that? Like uh, those, to Azusa. Azusa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they they give all the nice trains to those lines, and I took the green line to somewhere near Norwalk, and oh my god, like it was such an old ass train. I was like, these were probably the first ones, and I it was the first time ever that I took those trains where I could feel it swaying. I was like, this <laughs> thing's gonna fall over. Holy shit! <laughs> But that was uh, a trip. That was a trip. Yeah, yeah. man. I yeah. low-key, that's the only thing that, like, looking back, that was, that's the reason I took so many random jobs. Because I yeah. never really had, like, I never really had, like, a steady, steady gig here. It was always, like, I was jumping around a lot. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but the reason I took them was because of the adventure. Because, like, Sometimes I took a job and it was like in the Rose Bowl. So I had to figure out how to get there. Yeah. And then I had another oh, the job. One in Pasadena. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I had another one in like Dodger Stadium or I had another one in like Studio City. So it was like constantly traveling. And I yeah. think that's what made it fun for me. And also I was like, just constantly going different places. And all those places are their own fucking character. Like you could totally tell the difference once you're in those places. Like, 
LA is such a hodgepodge of like all these different joints, you know. So like it's all it always feels like a, a, something new. So thankfully, nothing crazy yet has happened though, because I've been to crazy places in LA, and it's like, man, I'm lucky that I haven't been like, like hurt or whatever the fuck. <laughs> just, just fucking keep to yourself. That's that's the way to do it. <laughs> Sometimes also being oblivious saves you from situations, you know? Right, right. Because, <laughs> like, I remember when I moved out here, like, I moved originally that place, like, MacArthur Park area, right? Yeah. And so many people were telling me, oh, my God, like, how can you do it? Like, that place is terrible. And I'm like, I come from worse places. Like, right. this, is, <laughs> this is not bad. Like, as long as I'm not bothering anyone, nobody's going to bother me, you know? Right. And uh, now, if... If if it was me moving now to that area, like kind of to start over everything that I did, I would be like, yeah. fuck, like, I would be like, no, there's no way. There's no yeah. way, son. Like young anyway. Steve, I got, I got some, I got some, I got some better places for you. Just hold up a second. <laughs> but for the amount of rent I was paying, hell yeah. Yeah. Now, now you can't get that anywhere. But no. it was, I was paying, I was paying five fifty, including electricity, for a studio. That sounds so. That sounds like a godsend. Yeah, man. Fifty, man. I remember. It doesn't even feel like that long ago before I ended up in K Town. There was this joint in downtown LA, which was about the same number. It was. Uh, I don't know. It was. It was near uh, the fucking. That school, uh, USC, it was near USC. And it was like seven fifty for a studio too. It all paid and whatever. And like, man, I we almost we almost ended up moving there because my partner she thought about going to USC for a little bit. So we thought like, oh, if you end up getting to the school, it's right the fuck there. But I remember she was fucking like, Man, there's a lot of weird shit here. Cause you know, it was literally on the edge of skid row. And to get to the school, you had to go uh, underneath the overpass. And, like, it was fucking tents all over the overpass. But, man, I'm sure that joint, for sure, right now, you'll be lucky to find anything under a 1,000. Yeah. <laughs> under a 1,000 yeah. is like, who the fuck do you have to blow first? <laughs> and even that area, that area. Tu mantra es que baby tú me...